Hey guys, Dart here, and welcome to Feed the Beast. But yeah, uh, gonna start a little Feed the Beast series and see how we go. I actually really, I really like playing this. I really do. Uh, now, I have started a little bit. This is just dodgy startup, normal, like always. Nothing like a... Gone to the e gone to the nether, grabbed a little bit of glowstone, a bit of netherrack, bit of nether brick, started up some rubber trees, and a little farm. Just this cow is just cow. I'm gonna stomp everything, aren't you? Freaking cow, man. So there's a little farm just to get me going. Um, spawn is around... Which way are we going? Spawn's around a thousand blocks that direction, south. I just went pretty much directly north. Uh, I'm not too far away in, I guess, Feed the Beast terms because you can travel relatively fast. It's asleep. Sleep away. Uh, and... I'll show you what's... So this was just... I found a, a few villages on the way over. So we got some potatoes and some wheat and some carrot. Now this is flax if for anyone. Now I'm not going to explain too much of the starting stuff. Um, I'll sh I'll, because the starting stuff... Like this is flax. So this gives you string. Which is really useful for wool and string and everything else. So And that grows like crazy. And you can just break the top half. Look at my string it gives you. It's ridiculous. Yeah, flax is really good for string. So, like, I just got 29 string then, just from this tiny little patch. Potatoes and this just standard vanilla stuff. I just got carrots because I want to get right into Thorncraft and get into the magic side of it. That's my my thing. So, I've, I've just opened up a few couple of rooms because I'm going to make it. This I think going to be in my Thorncraft room. It's probably a bit big for it, but meh. Now, where do we start? I've just got my, my standard starting machines. Now, these are the machines that I pretty much, not always, but for the majority of the time, will start with because it's probably the cheapest. I am running the ultimate pack, so we do have a mod called Greg Tech, and Greg Tech pretty much turns all the, or the majority of um, recipes harder. So it slows down progression. So especially from... A longevity standpoint, it, Greg Tech is really good. It gets frustrating at time because it just it slows you down in a really annoying way because you just have to wait for you have to wait for it, it. Just means you have to build more machines and you've got to wait longer in the sense of things to process. So there's a lot of waiting around, but it means that you don't get to the end game in two days or however long it does. I've found that I skip through it really quick. So, I'll try and explain things briefly and as well as I can. I don't want to waste too much time. There's a mod called Iron Chests, which allows you to do different chests. If I go into here and go chests, this is the NEI. This allows me to search all the items because there's so many freaking items. So, here's the chests here. So, you got iron, gold, diamond, copper, silver, crystal and so on, and you can upgrade them pretty easily. So if you want to go to the iron chest, it's just a normal chest with iron around it. If you want to go to the gold chest, it's an iron chest with gold around it, or you can use some glass to be cheap, I guess. Diamond chest is two diamonds with some glass, or three diamonds if you go straight from silver. And they allow you to hold a lot more. So for example, like you got your normal single chest, you got your normal double chest, and then I've got an iron chest here. So the iron chest is the same size as the double chest. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But it's in a single chest. And the cool thing with these are is you can place them beside each other. They don't have the issues. And then you got the diamond chest, which is just a monster. And the crystal chest is a see-through version of that. So you can actually see the items inside it, which is pretty cool. Um, so the way I normally start Feed the Beast, I've started it a few times because I've played on a few different servers, is I usually go straight to Steam Power. Um... They introduce these cool new things, I'll show you. The whole thing with Feed the Beast is you want to get some kind of pulverization or macerating 
as early as you can because you double your ore. These machines allow you to grind an ore down to two dust and then you get two ore, uh, two ing ingots when you smelt them. So this machine here, which is cool, it's just it's been added only recently, is a grinder, but it's a manual one. It's amazing. Oh, have I got any ore? Don't, oh, I'll just use one of these. It's right. So these things, this is great. This is a quartz grindstone. A quartz grindstone, you just need some quartz, really. It's really not that difficult to make. See, a wooden gear, some smooth stone, cobble, and three quartz dust. Which you get the dust from the veins. Wooden is just a few sticks and so on. It's pretty easy. So you put this in, and then you start punching it. And watch, you'll start turning, and you'll notice it will slot to the middle. Well, it should slot to the middle. Or do I have to go there? Or maybe I can't grind Feverus or in here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe I can't do that. Uh, let's do some cobble. Oh, I've got cobble on me anyway. Okay, so we'll grind some cobble down. So this should turn to sand. See, it sits in the middle. I think it takes around six turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. And it should be sand. So that's how you can start off if you before you get power. It's extremely cool. It doesn't take that long, like, and it does save you quite a lot, because you're doubling your ores, so those first ores that you use, you can really maximize what you start with. Um, and then I usually move straight to steam power, because it's, re it's pretty cheap to make. These engines here are very easy to make. They run on water and coal. And they push out two MJs each. Um, engine. Engine. So it's these ones here. The steam engine. Just copper. Copper and there's a bit of, sil bit of silver uh, for the transmission coil. Which is pretty easy. And then for water source, all I do is I've just got... Oh, I can hear mobs everywhere. I've just got this Aqueous Accumulator. Which generates water from nothing, but if you put two water sources either side of it, it pushes out way more water. Doesn't need power from factorization. Amazing. Like, I use a lot of factorization to start with because a Greg Tech uh, industrial craft is hard to reach to start with. I could probably go straight into it now because I've far been farming a lot. I'll show you guys in a minute what the craziness is. Like, you might, like, I've only been playing on here for a couple of days and I've got, like, look at this. How absurd is that? Like I got like what seventy three diamonds already. Look at this. All the look at this. All the quartz. It's ridiculous. Look at that, all the rubies and emeralds. Twenty seven. Like I've got like I don't know how many mine shafts below me. I've got like three ravines intersect. Like it's just insane. Like you look over here. This all look, look, look how many carts I've got. Work carts, records. I've got. Crap loads. Just look how much coal. Like my first enchant I did was a fortune two pick. So you look at this like craziness. Look at the lapis. Like it's so amazing. I don't know. I'm running out of redstone already. And I found a couple of portal guns. I've got a bacon gun, and I've got Peabody's gun as well. But I don't want to use... I, I'm, I, I think no one's using the bacon gun yet. So I've got, like, steel. Like, look at this. Look how much steel I've already... Look at this. Got 45 steel and two blocks already. Just from dungeons. But anyway, back to this. So the steam engines, three of these. So that's pushing out six MJs. Build power... Build craft power. So you push it out two... So, so that's pretty good to start with. Three of those. I, have, I haven't wired them up yet. I've just run them the levers. The three of those pretty much get me everything I need for the time being, because I'm only very small. And then my first machines I always make are these two machines. So you got the pulverizer and the powered furnace. Like they're the first two I prioritized. If I can't afford to make the, the powered furnace, I'll just make the pulverizer and then just use a normal furnace for the time being. Because I've got so much coal, it's not really a big issue in the sense of efficiency, but I will burn through that quickly. The best thing about these factorization machines is that you can configure 
the inputs and the outputs, and they're color coded. So blue's there, blue's there. So the imp that's the input, and then orange is the output. And you can change them to whatever you want. So you can just see, I can put orange on this side, red, orange, yellow, whatever. It's great. And they just feed into each other. So I, and I've got a hoppy here, which you know from vanilla. This is where it pretty much came from. It was in FTB and then all of a sudden it was in vanilla. So this pretty much just will feed it down into that. And then that will feed it into that. And then the powered furnace I've got with the output on the top. So that feeds straight into this diamond chest. It feeds into there. Then we get into some of the... the oh, it's not... You go into the next tier, I guess you could say. You've got the induction furnace or s induction smelter. has exactly the same functions. You can control it with redstone. And it smelts two things together. So, for example, I don't... I won't show you right now. So, um, I make stuff like uh, the hardened glass for certain machines. I've got, uh, so you've got hardened glass there. Um, you make electum here. Electrum. So you can smelt combinations together and make new, like, combinations of alloys and stuff. Um, Magma Crucible pretty much just melts down things. Um, Magma Crucible, you see, you can turn, like, liquid redstone. You can turn, like, cobble into lava and so on, melt everything down. Rolling Machine presses things. Like, I've got a few things here, so I've pressed some, like, iron plates... Next door neighbor's leaving. Uh, Igneous Extruder is just a cobble generator. Well, I've got it set up as a cobble generator. You can change it to stone and obsidian. The cool thing with this, though, is it doesn't need power. You can just leave it on its own. If you put a bucket of lava in a bucket of water and then set it on cobblestone, it will just make cobblestone forever. Unlimitless. Like, it will never use this stuff up. If you put it on stone, it will use a tiny bit of, of lava up each time. And obsidian will use, like, a bucket at a time. So... Like, I've slowly been making obsidian, and too much if I turn this on now. Turn on, and it'll just start making cobble. Now, you won't see the cobble, because it's going to go spitting strictly in here. See, look, it's just spitting in. Now, I know cobble is the most nastiest thing in the world in the sense of texture, um, but I have a plan. I'm going to be replacing it. Oh, I've got this marble brick, because if you go downstairs... I've got a little enchanting, that's where I enchanted my pick. Man, I can hear him. So this is where all the marble is that I've been farming so far directly under my house, which was convenient. Man, they're really close. Okay. Um, and we'll go for a quick run. Let's go for a quick run down. Actually, let's use my portal gun, hey? Haven't used it yet. Oh. Man, how amazing is that sound? Or maybe someone's already... Oh, I think they just wiped him. Whoops. Hell yeah. Love portal guns, man. I just love the sound. Listen to that. <laughs> yeah, I could... I could do that all day. Okay, so this is where I started, of course. The bigger thing with Feed the Beast is there's a lot of... Man, listen to all the mobs. See, this is... The ravine I found straight away. Death trap if I've ever seen one now. I haven't, I've only got like a bit of steel and a bit of armor. You can see how much punishment I've already taken. I've died a few times and... So I went around here and I was like, okay. I'm going to keep going down to the bottom of this place and... Ooh, slimes. Mobs drop. Come here. Give me your slime. Slimes are so valuable. Because you can turn them into rubber, and then as well, you need, I need things for, like, sticky pistons and all sorts of things. Okay, so then I found this place here. Now, we'll get into here a bit. And I'll show you the mini-map. Now, as you can see in the top right, you can see the mini-map already. On how extensive this is. But this is just the start of it, man. Like, I haven't even searched the whole place yet. It's just crazy. Now, let's see if I can open this up. Can I change the zoom? I can. Okay, let's see if I can... Okay, there we go. Now, let's see if we can get into the center of this place. And I'll just show you just... Like, look at it. It's just... Cr and it's, like, f so many levels... That it's just a nightmare. To, it's just crazy. Look, it just goes on and on and on and on. It's amazing. 
Like, it doesn't really show you how big it is because it doesn't show you. See, I haven't even searched all these places yet. It's just endless. Now, I have found a couple of spawners. I haven't found a crazy amount. Um, we found enough to probably get started. I'll take this gold. Gold seems to be one thing I'm struggling on. Maybe I'm a little... Just unlucky. Oh, sorry, I could hear mobs. I'm a little paranoid. I'm sick of seeing... Look, this is, not this is where it gets dangerous, man, because... Yeah, yeah. Mobs just drop down. There's another level up there that I haven't searched. See, just look at this. Look, it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay. But yeah, so that's where I've been mining and gotten all my stuff from. So, I've did I just burp? Man, that was weird. I'll have to check that later. So, yes, yeah, so I've got a heap of tin, a heap of iron. This will just disappear in a heartbeat. Um, so yeah, so today, we need to get off this, we need to get off this. So, I started digging out, plan, I think what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to shift to geothermal power to start with, and then we'll probably transition to solar, unless something else comes up. Um, I haven't done solar in a long time, but... Yeah, so I've been using this project table. I don't know if any of you guys haven't seen this before. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to explain it too heavily. But what you can do is you can put blank plans in and you can save stuff. So as you can see here, I've saved a heap of things on the plans. So all you need to do is have the stuff in here. And then all you have to do is you can just put it in, see it, and it tells you what it's missing. So we need some copper cables so I can just pull those out straight away. See what I mean? It's excellent. Makes things RE battery. Just a... The little things I, have to, I, I find that I make a lot of. These things you make just so many of throughout, especially electronic circuits. It's just absurd. Let's chuck this gold in here. See, and the gold will go down here. There's not much power, so let's turn this on. Man, this is him. Let's not, let's not mess with him. <coughs> yep, so that will just grind up. Go into here. The dust goes into there. The gold smelts it. And the cool thing with these machines is it, it, are, is it buffers the item when it starts cooking it. So if you pull it out, it doesn't interrupt it. So look, see, it's starting to smelt. If I pull it out, see, it's actually in there. You can't get it out once it starts smelting, which is great. So you don't, don't mess it up. So today, I'm going to start building the tank for our lava selection storage, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I'll be right back in a second. Once I uh, craft a few things. Okay, guys. So, I've been doing a little bit of crafting. We made a heap of stuff. All these. So, using this rolling machine, you make the 2x2 two two square of iron. And it makes these little plates. And then the plates do a 2x2. Two two, and you make these t t uh, iron tank walls. Man, spit it out. And... You can make valves as well. And glass. Iron tank gouge. Gorge. Gouge gouge as well and you can do a combination this is from railcraft and these i really like these you can do them you can customize these you can do like three by three and the height is different you can do four i think you can do three by three might be three five seven nine i can't remember the exact things but we're going to do a five by five by five we're just got a nice little square on and this is going to be for our storage of lava and the plan is is we're going to make some things called Tesseract? Now I'm not 100%. So you got these three different th Tesseracts. Now we want a liquid one. Now the liquid one, similar to redstone energy cells, which we'll be making next episode. Um, yeah, so we need en molten ender. So we can use, we can, we can do that with the magma crucible. And then this is not very hard at all. So they're not that difficult. And Ender pearls aren't that hard to get 
in the ultimate pack for the fact that I can do this with iron. Four iron gives me an ender pearl. And I've got a ton of iron. I might have enough dust to make one as well. So yeah, so I can get ender pearls that way. I'm not going to um I mean I'm not going to go and farm them. There's no bloody way. So yeah, so let's get this moving. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh tesseract right there, I reckon. We don't need to access it once it's done, and we'll be able to access it under anyway. So, this bottom platform. Let's just seal that up so I don't die in there. And let's put a valve. So the valve's the access. So that's where it'll be coming in. We'll do... Whoa, frames stutter. Frames are dropping. Okay. We'll just make this, and I think it'll be our first thing we can make. And then the top's just going to be all filled in. We're not going to be able to see it, so you don't need any glass. But you can do a combination of any of these three things. It's really up... The only There are rules in the sense of the valves. Uh, the valves have to go in specific places. Um, I'm not 100% sure. The wiki will be able to explain it to you further. Okay, so we're going to have two valves... I probably don't need to, but I'm going to do two anyway. And then... I'm going to do like this cross kind of thing, I reckon. And then it should automatically... There we go. So there's our tank. Now this isn't the biggest tank you can do. It only holds 2,000 buckets of anything. Then we can plug into that. So... And that will be full of lava, so that's going to be look cool. And that's going to be able to replace these. And then I'll be able to just run geothermal generators off those into whatever. And we can stop using this cheap, inefficient power. So that's going to be me for today, guys. Well, it's going to be... FTB, I think, are going to be a longer episodes than the normal mince raft, mainly for the fact that we've just got so much more to explain and go through and we're, it's going to be a lot slower. I'm in no rush. No rush to kind of power through this. We'll just take it slowly and I really want to get into Thormcraft. It's going to be like as soon as I can get my power kind of set up, organized and sustained, then magic, magic all the way. I had Wiss spawning in here earlier, but that's beside the point. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave your feedback in the comments. Um, yeah, Feed the Beast, it's going to be a bit of a rocky start, but I think we'll get there, and we'll be able to do some cool stuff and make some crazy stuff. I want to get into the really high-tech stuff as well, so we've got a lot to do. So, thanks for watching, and uh, take it easy.